So today we're going to go over how students can use KidBlog as part of school projects or as part of an after-school club. First, after the teacher creates their KidBlog.org account, they're going to be able to create a club or create a class and name it whatever they'd like. So right here, here's my URL. Then they're going to go and they're going to have the students go to this link and from here the students will go to log in. From this page, all the students can see is the blogs that have been posted so far. So you have the Welcome to Kid blog post, the Welcome to Excel's First Ever Blogging Club post, and then a student posted something about Willy Wonka. At the very bottom of the page here, you have your blog directory. These are the other users who also have access to the blog. When you click on somebody in the blog directory, it'll show their posts. The teacher can control how private or how public these items can be. So, from here, I'm going to go to log in. And I'm going to say that my name is Kaya. Then I'm going to type in my password that my teacher gave me. From here, the student will be able to click on login. And when they click on login, they are going to be able to see the blogs just like they could before, but they're also going to be able to see only their blog and they're going to have the option to make a new post. When they get into the new post section, they'll be able to give their blog a title. So maybe I want to call this blogging. I am so excited to start this, to start the school year in this blogging. So maybe the student wants to type about their blogging experience thus far. They can say, I am so excited to start the school year in this blogging club. I love writing and I'm looking forward to making new memories through these blogging interactions. So they can do it visually or they can create their blog using HTML. If your kids know how to code, then they can use HTML. So I'm going to stick to visual. When I stick to visual, I'll be able to go through and I can change the color. I can go through and change the font. And I can also go through and change the size. So KidBlog will allow students to change anything that they'd like. They can even go in here and upload or insert media. And they can choose files to upload from their computer, from a website, or from their media library. Then they can choose Save Draft. Students would choose the Save Draft option if they started the blog but didn't get a chance to finish it. Um, maybe the blog was due for an assignment or for a grade. They can then choose Preview. And when they choose Preview, they'll be able to see their blog in the same way that their teacher is able to. When you go back and they're ready to publish, they can simply click on Publish. And that publishes their blog. Now we're going to go over the teacher side of using kidblog.org. 